Okay, so computer starting, what you're going to see is that black screen saying that it's starting the, the backup program, I guess you can call it. And it's going to appear in this window. And it's going to take approximately, like, I don't know, like 15 to 20 minutes, depending on, you know, how, how much programs the computer came with. And you see how this thing says disk 1. Um, the old computers, what you will need is you will need a data recovery CDs that came with the computer, but nowadays they're not coming with them. But you can also go to Sony if your computer doesn't, you never did a backup on your computers. You can always go to Sony.com or SonyStyle.com or eSupport.com, and then you can also order the CDs. Which they're not they're not expensive at all. You know when you need them, you know you need them. You just need to buy them. And you see how this one says Vio one of two and two of two. So you can just you know buy them and keep them or make copies in case you you know you lose it. Like I have a couple just because I used to have many Sony's. I'm a Sony fan. See, like for example, this one you can't really see. Let me turn on the light here. Okay. Here's uh, another one for this is, I believe, for uh, yeah, that's for the laptop that I used to have. And I purchased it, and, but it never came with the recovery CD on the, you know, on the box when I bought it. So I just ended up buying it just to have it, and sold the laptop and forgot to give this to the person. Not that they will need it because a lot of was in great condition, but... And... So yeah, you just want to make sure... I will buy it if I were all of you. Just to make sure you have it available in case an emergency happens. And then now it's on disc 2, so it's almost done. This process is pretty quick, and after that, you're gonna follow some steps again, like I said. And that those steps will be, um, you know, change. Make sure you're setting up the time, time and zone, or whatever you call it. And then internet connectivity, and yeah, so that's it. So let's wait a little bit. It's almost done. It says one minute. Sometimes I could be wrong. I have waited a long time in the past with the, you know different computers I have fixed. Now it shows that this three is installing. <coughs> so, <coughs> so com comparing this one to the new computer that I purchased here, this computer works really really nicely, which I recommend everybody buying one if they can. If if not, you know there's always different options, but. This one, like I said, is a 24-inch. This is a all-in-one touchscreen computer, and I bought it a couple of months ago. And now I notice that they have a, they have a 3D version, which I think is kind of pointless in having a 3D computer. But the point is that you know you have a new, you know you you buy something new and then I don't know where like a couple of months later you know the brand new and just popping out and it's kind of funny how technology works you buy something new and the next month something newer came out <clears throat> but I'm currently working on a project a you know, video project here that I was seeing on YouTube also and he was going back here and I noticed that it has finished so you press next and then finish and the screen will turn off, computer will restart <coughs> excuse me and it will take you to uh, it will take you to, um, to the you know to the little procedures that you have to follow the steps this computer it was purchased I believe back in 2004 or 2003 you know pretty nice I mean it lasts me for a while I still have it I don't want to get rid of it yeah it's a DVD burner CD burner 
Uh, AV, AV cable hookup. Uh, what else? Ethernet, obviously. It gets wireless internet and from the house. Anyway, this is the Windows XP screen that you get afterwards. And you're going to want to follow the steps. And don't worry if something happens. You know, you want to make sure the computer is plugged into the power cord. You unplug everything but the internet, mouse, and keyboard. Okay. <coughs> And that noise that you're hearing in the background is my daughter playing with the phone. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here because it's taking a while. I don't want you guys to be sitting here waiting so I'll start recording once it starts.